Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. 26th January, 26th January is very special for us as we celebrate the Republic Day of our country. It's the day when the Constitution of India was built. As a citizen, this day gives us great joy, happiness, and pride in our hearts. The same day we have gathered here online for the alumni meet of our college. This day gives us an opportunity to share our memories, meet our colleagues, teachers, and revive the contacts. We will start the meet by invoking the blessings of God Almighty. I request Sister Pilsi to lead us in prayer. Hridaya Radha Sandhi Niti Sneha Gita Niti Karma Bhumi Tali Ridunna Vanna Migi Nammil Vaalu Adi Namam Innu Vaartida Hridaya Radha Tandri Niti Sneha Gita Nigiyum Karma Bhumi Thaliridunna Vanna Nigiyum Nommil Vaalu Adi Namam Innu Vaartida Nyingal Paadu Sister Pilsi. Before moving on to the formal function, I would like to invite a very special person. She is a teacher who will enlighten our minds with a endless knowledge. She is an inspiration and a role model whose position can never be replaced in our college. She is the president of our alumni association, the real treasure of our college none other than Ms. Bindu Ahmad. With great pleasure, I invite Ms. Bindu Ahmad to welcome the gathering. 
thank you for those very <laughs> generous words, um, Shashwati. Good afternoon to everybody gathered here. A special, very special word of welcome to our guest of honor, the worshipful mayor of Korikod, Dr. Bina Philip, who has accepted our invitation and joined this meet, along with our dear teachers, the daughters of our teachers, and all the alumni members and the present teachers. Well, as the nation celebrates its Republic Day, uh, resolving its pledge to preserve and protect the integrity and the unity of the nation, I think the 26th of January is an ideal day for all of us at Providence, and especially the Providence to renew our bonds with our alma mater. And therefore, here we are. Uh, we have gathered here for our tryst with destiny. And let me extend a very warm welcome to everyone gathered here in this virtual meet. I would first of all like to welcome the president of this meeting, Dr. Sister Sheba, our vibrant, firebrand vice principal and the head of the Department of Economics. Uh, in the absence of Sister Ashmita, our principal, who's away at a very important uh, provincial chapter, Sister Shiva, our vice principal, will preside over this afternoon's meeting. And the red carpet ro is rolled out to welcome the Honorable, the Worshipful Mayor of Koriko, Dr. Bina Pia, who is the recipient of a very special award that Providona has instituted from this year onwards. More details of that later, but ma'am, a very warm welcome to you. We are indeed honored by your presence though. I welcome the teachers of this institution, the past and present teachers. It is to see you that alumni from far and near have gathered and it means a lot that you have sacrificed your time and joined this meet. A very warm word of welcome to our teachers, both the past and present teachers. And um, as I will uh, get ready to welcome the next set of uh, invitees, I think I must quote the words of the president himself. In the Republic Day message yesterday, the President of India reminded us that the pandemic and the lockdown days only served to remind Indians of the close-knit family bonds that we uh, have in our midst. And this, I think, this meet is one more reminder of that kind of close-knit family bonds because we have with us a very special guest, the dear, the Pravi daughters, the dear daughters, the alumni daughters of our dear beloved teachers, beginning with Dr. Leila Mohan. And please give me the honor of reading out the names of all those whom we have invited and who have gathered here. Dr. Leila Mohan, daughter of Ms. Sarojini, Dr. Rina Andrews and Ms. Minu Andrews, daughters of Mrs. Rose Andrews, China, Ms. Daughter of Dr. China, daughter of Ms. Rose Anthony of the, de the Department of Mathematics, Deepa Sridharan and Divya Sridharan, daughters of Ms. Radhanayan, Saumya, daughter of Ms. Rosama of the Department of Botany, Nilima and Namita, daughters of Ms. Shailaja, again of the Department of Botany, Jolsna and Amrita, Ms. Lakshmi Devi's daughters, uh, uh, and also from the Department of Chemistry, Ms. Shanta's daughter, Anju, who's promised to join from Delhi. We have Anjali, Ms. Bharati Nair's daughter from the Department of History. Priya, daughter of dear Ms. Joan Williams, who's joined from uh, Trishur. Aparna Rajshegaran, daughter of Ms. Rukmini. Meryl and Millie, daughters of Ms. Valsama, Valsama, 
Manju, daughter of Ms. Grace Sebastian, and Purnima, hopefully, who said she would join, Ms. Devyani's daughter. Along with that, I would also like to welcome the special nieces, Ms. Sushila Nambiar, niece of Ms. Radha Nair, and uh, Dr. Anita, who I hope has joined from Mumbai, niece of Ms. Kamlakshi. Sharon, Ms. Rita's daughter, Sharon, from the Department of Economics. Uh, I, I hope I have not missed anyone. A very warm welcome to each one of you. This is indeed a very uh, special moment for us. We decided that Providana wanted to you know, spread its wings and uh, enfold in a very special hold this group, the special group of people. And you mean millions to us. Thank you very much for your presence here. And let's look forward to great uh, bonds of togetherness. A special word of welcome to the executive members of the Alumni Association, uh, which includes Nishna NC, the very busy, vibrant uh, radio mango uh, star, Nishna, welcome. And we also have Ms. Usha Krishna Kumar, Mary Cheryan, and many others. Welcome to each one of you, to the of present office bearers and other members of the Alumni Association. A very warm word of welcome. Well, thank you. And let's move ahead with the program now. Thank you, ma'am. Next, I would like to invite a very energetic person. A person who is full of love, happiness, and joy. Her music and lovely voice gives us a heavenly feeling. She is a vice principal of our college and the head of the Department of Economics. With great joy, I would like to invite Dr. Sister Sheba for the presidential address. Thank you, Shashudi. Beloved teachers and our dear alumni, a very warm good afternoon to you all and a very happy Republic Day. I am so delighted today to see my teachers especially that glowing faces which once again reflect the youthfulness. I have no words to express that uh, togetherness, the joy of togetherness, seeing your face. Your face. And I do not and want to mention everybody's name, anyone's name especially, but I, do, I would like to say, um, love to mention our proud Alibne, uh, Honorable Mayor of Calicut, Dr. Bina Philip, who is joining with us to share her fond memories. So at the outset, I thank you, ma'am, for joining us. And we look forward to you, uh, mm -hmm. your sharing of your experiences in Providence. I'm sure that we all cherish the same feeling. It's our home. Here, our sweet memories linger. Despite in quarantine, behind the closed doors, this meat unravels that our spirit is not diminished. Our enthusiasm is still vibrant. And for us humans, we love to cherish memories for that alone remains changeless in this changing world amidst changes in all the spheres of our life. I do not know whether I have the qualification to address you all as a presidential address. Um, I feel that I'm actually, I got a chance because this principal is not here. I don't feel worth to address you all. My only qualification is that I am also an alumni of Providence. Dear teachers and alumni, memories become part of us and part of our very life. And the energy that we get the moment we think about our cherished home for most of us five years or three years and for teachers for an entire lifespan is indeed unique and we simply love it. 
as I said, I too am an alumni. And whichever corners of the world we are, we still cherish the priceless memories of our college. And I'm sure everyone will say yes to it. The other day, uh, I happened to meet one of my juniors who is working as an HR in Canada. And her comment while addressing our students went on like this. Whichever part of the world I went, my loftiest and fond memories is of Providence and none others. I was very happy to hear this. And uh, I do also share the same feeling. Wherever we go, we cherish the memories of Providence. We are here today, this evening, to share our memories in Providence, our naughtiness, thrills, the elections we had, the students' day, the stage programs, the drama, the dances and whatnot, the stone benches, the canteen. Let this be a platform for us to relive once again, feel the youthfulness to march ahead with full zeal in our respective field of work. Dear alumni, I can proudly say that Providence is growing along with its children placed all over the world. Within two years, we are going to witness another phase of Providence. With its fame heightened as knowledge hub with this new high-tech library. And in fact, it's a huge funded project beyond the economic capacity of Providence, hoping that we could work together in money and matter to realize our dream of this high-tech library. Soon the videos will be shared on Providence. You'll be getting a chance to see the library at least online. So we can see uh, the library becomes the heart of Providence once it is built. And everyone will feel part of alumni, part of our institute will feel really proud of this because it can cherish knowledge and uh, people will simply love to go to library and a, a kind of uh, knowledge culture will be developed in our college, which was lacking before we had a small library, as you all know. And uh, UGC also, uh, nowadays UGC asks, you know, there's a separate section in UGC which values uh, its value points assess, to assess the contribution of the alumni members towards the growth and development of the college. So I believe that if you put together the little we have, as the saying goes, Paladubli Perivala, surely we can do marvelously well in everything. And as um, we are going to also see uh, one of our, uh, I would like to mention the glorious flight into heaven of our beloved former principal, Sister Geralda, whose fond memories the faculties and the students cherish and nourish. We have one more powerful intercessor in heaven for us, no doubt about it. Our Malayalam department head, Ms. Nalini, also bade farewell to us. And we remember our departed members in our prayers. And I would also, the principal has especially told me to tell you that we are, once again, we are witnessing the NAC visit, which will be next year. And I would like to say that NAC, this NAC, our teachers, along with the IQSC coordinator, Ms. Minu, is working very hard towards the documentation of all the events in a novel way that NAC requires from us. And the highlight of this NAC year will be our library and our best practices, which connects the environment energy and society for a sustainable development. This is all to mention some of the progress which we are making in the institution in progress. I think um, I will wind up. It's time for me to wind up. 
Before it, I would like to mention a few names whose tireless effort and coordination made this event possible. Ms. Bindu, who is the Vice President of our alumni, has welcomed each and every one personally, which shows her personal interest in all the alumni members, especially our part teachers. Ms. Ashwadi, the Secretary, Sister Sneharani, the Treasurer, and all the alumni of uh, faculties of Providence who make this day a memorable one for each one of us. Thank you for your initiatives and planning. A word of thanks and appreciation to our dear part members, the teaching and non-teaching staff, for joining us, which indeed add color to this function. And all of you who, who are joining with us to share their memories, experiences, talents to make this day a vibrant one. A big salute to each one of you on this Republic Day. You deserve it. Now, as a, I feel that I am a student now. No, I don't feel that I am a president and vice president. So let me now kickstart the day with a fun-loving college song of new generation. Well, this Maria Shiva for you. <laughs> you just can't beat her at it. Yeah, and sister, thank you very much. In fact, um, when you told me it, uh, I announced that it was, you know, uh, the personal interest that I took. I it sometimes goes to the other personal extreme where you even forget to or miss mentioning some of those who are closest to us. And I would definitely like to mention the presence here of Divya Jose, daughter of Miss. Catherine Jose from the Department of Zoology and Sri Devi, daughter of our own dear Miss Lalita from the English Department. They are both here, uh, Divya and uh, Sri Devi. Very warm welcome to you. Yeah, please carry on. Thank you, dear sister. Now I request Miss Nivedya Pramod, Secretary of the Association for the year 2020 21 and the Faculty of Commerce Department to present the minutes. Good afternoon, everyone. I hereby present the annual report of Providona for the year 2020-2021. Providence Women's College has always valued the contribution 
made by its illustrious alumni spread over different parts of the world. Alumni association of a college plays a pivotal role in keeping them connected. With the onset and continued risk of COVID-19, traditional opportunities for alumni engagement got cancelled and remained in limbo. And so, the annual get-together of Providona, the Alumni Association of Providence Women's College, took place through the virtual platform on 26th January 2020-21, a first of its kind. The meeting began at 2 p.m. by seeking the blessings of the Almighty. Ms. Bindu Ahmad, President of the Association, welcomed the gathering. This was followed by the presidential address by Dr. Sister Ashmita, the principal and ex officio president of the Association. Ms. Nivedia Pramod, Secretary, presented the annual reports of the Association, and Sister Sneharani, Treasurer, presented the accounts. Former principal, Sister Geralda, graced the occasion by blessing all the attendees and the passed out students felt extremely overwhelmed to hear from their favorite teacher. At this moment, we remember you, dear sister, with deepest sympathy and sadness. After the formal proceedings, new office bearers of the association for the year 2020 and 21 were elected. Ex officio president, principal Dr. Sister Ashmita, chief patron, our local manager, president, Ms. Bindu Ahmad, vice president, Ms. Usha Krishna Kumar, secretary, Ms. Nivedya Pramod, joint secretary, Ms. Lishna, treasurer, Sister Sneharani, and executive committee members, Ms. Shuji P and Ms. Madhavi Menon. Further, Dr. Gigi Abraham, head of the Department of Chemistry, provided a brief insight about the lecture series Bond Boosters organized by the Chemistry Department, which focus upon to reunite the alumni. Ms. Shailja, retired faculty, Department of Botany, shared her memories and experiences representing the part members. Ms. Rashmi Rajendran, Ms. Valsa Manali, Ms. Hamsini Menon, and Ms. Veena Sriram spoke on behalf of former chairpersons. Alumni members extend their support towards the alma mater by contributing towards various scholarships for our own students and towards the CDS fund. The event also witnessed an elegant dance performance by Ms. Shalini Shivashankaran, an alumni of our college, now the founder of Ubahar School of Dance in UK. She gracefully performed a classical dance to mesmerize the audience. Association activities. As part of International Women's Day, Providona arranged a talk upon the theme Women Up in association with IIM Code on 8th March 2020-21. Students attended the talk through Zoom meeting. On 12th June 2021, Providona and NCC jointly arranged a session, Nazaria, which focused on creating an awareness and help of ICE. The session was handled by our alumni, Dr. Fairuz P., ophthalmic oncologist. It has been an unexpected year, which taught us to find new ways of resilience, even in the darkest of hours. A pandemic is upskilling us with much more unintended positives than we ever expected. Amidst this, let's hope to hold our hands together and lend support to our alma mater in all the ways possible. Seeking your unity and regards, I conclude. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Shashwati, I think our mayor has to leave. So would you like to advance that part of the program to this point? Sure, ma'am. This year, we have something new as we are introducing an alumni award. Sister Geralda Award instituted by the Providona, the Alumni Association, to recognize the outstanding achievements by the alumni. Here, I would like to invite Sister Pilsi to present 
the video that will release the winner of the award. Challenge dead in the eye and gives it a wink. Dr. Bina Phillip, fondly called as Bina Teacher, is the current mayor of Koiko District, where LDF continues its administration for the 46th consecutive year. She is the fourth woman to hold the position. She is a strong, amazing, unique, and irreplaceable woman. She is really a warrior. Her trademark smile is the prettiest thing that she wears, and the smile is world. She inspires every woman to work harder and to be a better version of themselves. Once she said, life is full of challenges. Prioritize your challenge. Her life is full of surprises and unexpected twists. She acted in a drama gorilla, penned by Ellen Tillis. She is the girl who refused to be playing as a heroine in the film Maladevita at the age of 16 and turns male after 45 years. She completed her pre degree from the college at the center of the city, Malabar Christian College. And after a successful course of study at Providence Women's College, she proceeded to pursue her PhD. Dr. Bina Phillip was the principal at Narakawa Government Girls Vocational Higher Secondary School and Archa Batam Government Higher Secondary School. She used to take classes in parenting and learning strategies. She was a part of the team that started the Spectrum Project in Narakawa School, which marked the changing face of government schools. She is a lover of the English language, and she proceeded to Bangalore to learn more about English literature. Besides her teaching profession, Dr. Bina Phillip contested as the CPM candidate in the corporation and won a majority of 652 votes. She defeated the Congress back independent candidate, Regina Saji. As the Council of Koyakot Corporation, she took utmost priority to waste management and took steps to solve the legal issues. As the mayor post was reserved for women, 2020 became the fourth election in the history of Koyakot Corporation's 58 year long history. Koyakot was the first government corporation in Kerala to have a female board. She stands up for herself and also stands up for everybody else. She is a woman with a voice. We present Sister Geralda Alumni Award for the year 2022 to Dr. Bina Phillips. Thank you, Sister Bilti. Now I request Dr. Bina Phillips, Mayor, Kodikod City, to speak a few words on her achievement. Dear Sister Sheba, <coughs> my dear friend Bindu, Shashadi, and Sriti, and my dearest, dearest teachers, I could see Ms. Shanda, Ms. Rupni, and Ms. Radha. Uh, Ms. Lalita hasn't taught me, but you know, she lives in the very same neighborhood where I live. So so happy uh, to be with you again, though it's a virtual meet. As you all said in the beginning, our memories take us back to that campus where we all have all everything nice in our life associated with that campus. I'm not, I'm not different. I used to tell my juniors 
and the kind of safety and protection you have and the, this campus you'll never get in your life. That's what I experienced there. I would like to remember Ms. Nalini, Ms. Jaya, Ms. Geralda, and Ms. Edwina, and you know, the, those who taught me are not me right now with us. And Ms. Nalini was telling me the other day after Ms. Jaya's, you know, death, that both of them used to sit in front of the TV and when they watch me talking, they would say, Namuda Kutti. So they were so proud of Avaruda Kutti Kurchavaratri Abhiman Chiruma. Thank you very much. And another thing I would like to mention is that I got opportunities, two opportunities to visit my alma mater again. But I didn't come because that was those days were so busy that I could spend only 10 to 15 minutes in my college. So I told them very frankly, I wouldn't go there for 15 minutes or half an hour. If I go there, I want to spend more than an hour in my college. And that too, with a peace of mind. In, if you, when you have a very busy schedule, which you have no hold over it, I know you feel like not going to such places where you need some time to talk to them, not in the kind of hasty manner that I always do these days. Today being a Republic Day, we had programs at 1 o'clock. And, uh, you know, uh, even there, uh, I was always thinking of the kind of meeting that I was going to have here right now in, with all of us together. Because it is in the name of Sister Geralda. I cannot remember the right now without a tear swelling in my eyes. She was such a nice person. You know, even these days, you will not see such progressive thinking teachers amongst us. She was such a person that uh, she always allowed freedom of others. She never criticized us. Instead, she made us think of what we did, whether it is right or wrong. That is something I learned from her when I became a teacher. From Miss Nalini, the way she sat on the table, many people won't agree with me, but while she was teaching, she was to sit on the table and taught us. I too carried that habit in my life, especially when I see somebody, when I saw someone coming, I used to jump out of the table telling my students, those teachers may not like it. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. That's what I tell. So I always wonder, more than what our, genera our, our um, children carry from us, we carry from our teachers. See, these things we do remembering our teachers. We try to imitate them. We consider them as role models as we are teachers or when we are working employees or when we are adults. You know, from, uh, from adolescence, we enter into adulthood. Many of the traits or characters or mannerisms or, you know, the way they walk or wear saris or the way they smile at, uh, you know, the class, we all copy that unconsciously or consciously and we do practice in our life. That way, we carry more from our teachers than that we carry from our parents. That is why we say teachers never die like soldiers. They only fade away. They only fade away. They have no death. So that's all about the teachers who are not with us. And the rest is about what providence is to Kodi Code or to the rest of the world. Never have I heard of a bad comment about our college. Never. Though some people, some youngsters, had some sort of jokingly, they might have said something, but never seriously. That is something which we have to make sure of in our life, because we are all alumni of that great Providence College. From our behavior, from our attitude, they should ask, 
in which college did you study not like the ad of some tour you know that is what we can do to our almanac that's what i believe wherever i went my head mrs once asked me beena did you study in a convent or are you a convent product proudly i said yes not only at school even in college though i studied in malabar christian college for 2 years my fond memories are not about that college but about providence where i did my graduation and i don't know whether you know it or not miss anda might be knowing and uh, 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 while i was in uh, doing my uh, graduation there i was involved in some student politics and i i made one unit we formed one unit of sfi in uh, in providence college that time so but you know that kind of a freedom was allowed for us students then they all knew that i was involved in politics but they never criticized instead i still remember miss andrews asking me dina i heard that you are a red so with an embarrassment on my face i said yes miss <laughs> you know i still remember and that ladies only bus which flies uh, from calicut to mukam that was also uh, uh, an effort made by my batch uh, sisters you know they encouraged us going to the rto office and sitting in front of the rto demanding for a ladies only bus from mukam to kolikod via providence college by the time you know when we thought that the paper would come we stopped our strike and came back to the college when we got into the bus sister the then principal told me beena we trust you you should remember that you are the product of providence college so that was in us and almost all of us we never wanted to create a scene there somehow we got the bus sanctioned and that is the end of it even now when i wait for a bus on the road side i so i when i happen to see that bus ladies only uh, you know passing in front of me i i mean i feel so proud uh, that i was one of the people who who was who was the cause of it so that's all my fond memories about my college and about miss meena chikuti tutorial ship and its effect i experienced from providence college my miss minachi kuti was my tutor and she shared all my personal woes of that day those days there were two beenas in chemistry when the result came against beena the marks read out were not of mine actually the other beenas miss minachi kuti got so angry so depressed that she went away from the class my marks were announced after that then i got some about 82% in those days 82% in chemistry and in physics also i had very good high marks in first year and second year but then third year i failed in many of the subjects and that's why you know whatever that's a different story so then i went to the staff room calling miss meenakshi kuti she was not even looking at me thinking you know i wanted to say an excuse then so brightly i told her miss ad ende mark alla ad matte ed beena case no matrana kutida pere avarada mark aanu ende mark idaanu nu njan kayinde ullil ezhudiya mark missine kaanu choorthu missine bayangara sandoshayi en nerthe parnadhu pole all fond memories of my life are associated with the providence college ippulum ee sthanathum enne njan aakiyadhu valiya oru pangulla college അവിടുത്തെ ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് എനിക്ക് ഒരിക്കലും മറക്കാൻ പറ്റാത്തത് എന്നെ അന്ന് പഠിപ്പിച്ച ടീച്ചേഴ്സാണ് നമ്മളെയൊക്കെ ഗ്രൂമ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിൽ നമ്മുടെ ടീച്ചേഴ്സിന് വലിയൊരു പങ്കുണ്ട് ശരിക്കും എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇൻ ദ അഡോൾസിന്റെ ഏജിൽ ആ ഏജിൽ ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് നമുക്ക് ഒരല്പം സ്വാതന്ത്ര്യം തരികയും നമ്മളെ മനസ്സിലാക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ അത് നമ്മുടെ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റിയിൽ നമ്മുടെ ലൈഫിൽ മൊത്തത്തിൽ ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്ന ഒരു ചേഞ്ച് ഉണ്ട് അത് അനുഭവിച്ചാൽ മാത്രമേ നമുക്കത് അറിയൂ പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മൾ അറിയില്ല ചിലപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ ചിന്തിക്കുന്നുണ്ടാവില്ല എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ ഇങ്ങനെ എന്ന് നമ്മൾ ചിന്തിക്കുന്നുണ്ടാവില്ല അപ്പൊ അത് ചിന്തിച്ചാലേ നമുക്കത് ബോധ്യപ്പെടൂ ഇന്നെന്ന കാരണങ്ങളെ കൊണ്ടാണ് 
നമ്മൾ ഓർക്കുക നമ്മൾ എങ്ങനെ നമ്മളായിരുന്നു ഞാൻ കടവനിട്ടയുടെ വരികൾ മാറ്റി പറയും ഒരു പാരന്റി പോലെ അതുപോലെ നമ്മൾ നമ്മളായതിൽ വലിയൊരു പങ്ക് വഹിക്കും നമ്മുടെ വിദ്യാഭ്യാസ സ്ഥാപനങ്ങളാണ് എല്ലാ സ്ഥാപനത്തെ കുറിച്ചും നമുക്കതൊന്നും പറയാനുണ്ടാവില്ല ചിലപ്പോൾ പക്ഷെ അബൌട്ട് പ്രൊവിഡൻസ് വി ഓൾ ഹാവ് ദാറ്റ് വൺ പോയിന്റ് വെർ വി ഓൾ എഗ്രി ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ്ഡ് അവർ ലൈഫ് ഇൻ വൺ വേ ഓ ദി അതർ നോയിങ്ലി ഓർ അൺനോയിങ്ലി കോൺഷ്യസ്ലി ഓർ അൺകോൺഷ്യസ്ലി വി ഓൾ ക്യാരി ദാറ്റ് ബ്രാൻഡ് വിത്ത് അസ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു സേ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ അഗൈൻ ഐ ഡോ നോ വാട്ട് ഐ മസ്റ്റ് സേ അബൌട്ട് സിസ്റ്റർ ജെറാൾഡാസ് അവാർഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഡ്രോപ്പ് ഓഫ് ടിയേഴ്സ് that i have with me right now before that award and i'm sure from heaven she'll be looking down on us thinking a girl who was in front of her became the mayor of the city i'm sure and many times i was invited to the nak meetings i used to wonder i was only a teacher i never had many things many awards or you know many achievements in fi- in my life to p- put before the team but even then my department always invited me for such meets then i knew that my capabilities they were known to my teachers not to me i sometimes wonder why i was selected as a mayor apodokke enikku thonna ende adhyapagare njan or adhyapiki aayittu polum inne ella kaaryathinum vilikkum many days i came there as a guest addressing the hostelage sometimes addressing some uh, batches sometimes njan vera aaru alla or teacher mathre aayirunnullu evideyo ende kalivugale okke enne kaal nannai arinjathu ende teachers aanu അത് എൻ്റെ പ്രൊവിഡൻസ് കോളേജിലുള്ള ടീച്ചേഴ്സാണ് ഇത്രയും പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ട് എനിക്ക് തന്ന ഈ അവാർഡിന് എങ്ങനെയാണ് നന്ദി പറയേണ്ടത് എന്ന് എനിക്ക് അറിഞ്ഞുകൂടാ ഇതൊരു വലിയ അംഗീകാരം എന്നെ തേടി വന്നത് പോലെയാണ് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നത് അതുകൊണ്ട് എൻ്റെ എല്ലാ തരത്തിലുള്ള ആദരവും ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ കോളേജിനും എന്നെ പഠിപ്പിച്ചു പോയ മൺമറഞ്ഞു പോയ എൻ്റെ ടീച്ചേഴ്സിനും ഇന്ന് ജീവിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന എൻ്റെ സുഹൃത്തുക്കൾക്കും ഒക്കെയായി സമർപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് എന്റെ വാക്കുകൾ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് മാം ഫോർ ഷെയറിംഗ് സച്ച് ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ മെമ്മറീസ് വിത്ത് എസ് യു ഹാവ് മെൻഷൻഡ് ഹൗ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ് അ ടീച്ചർ ഇസ് ഇൻ മോൾഡിംഗ് ദ ക്യാരക്ടർ ഓഫ് ദി സ്റ്റുഡൻറ് യു ഹാവ് ഓൾസോ മെൻഷൻഡ് ഹൗ സിസ്റ്റർ ജെറാൾഡ ഹാഡ് പ്ലേഡ് അൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ് റോൾ ഇൻ യുവർ ലൈഫ് താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് മാം ഫോർ ജോയിനിങ് അസ് ടുഡേ നൗ I invite Sister Pilti to take us through the Alumni Association accounts for the year 2020-2021. Alumni account 2020-2021. Credited from caution deposits of students of 2021, 23,600. Donation from Alumina towards library fund, 50,000. Savings, 67,160 rupees. And also we have two FDs. Thank you. This day never goes on. without remembering a person she is a person with a pleasant smile on her face a very enthusiastic teacher of our college sister geralda is the first head of the department of physics and the former principal of our college she left us last year now i request sister pilsi to take us to the memories of sister geralda
Thank you, Sister Tilti. Now I invite Dr. Mini Balakrishnan, former faculty of Physics Department, to share her memories with Sister Giralda in the campus. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mini, and uh, to talk about Sister Giralda is uh, a Herculean task, and uh, especially when she is not here. Because last meeting, we had sister here, and uh, most of the students who joined wanted to see Sister Geralda to hear her speech because she was the enthusiastic and energetic teacher. Urja Dandram Badipikan, Sister Dartarim Urjam, Arpun Dairnaja. So she was the person fit to teach physics. To many of the hostelites, she was the warden who replaced their mother. So they remember her as the mother away from mother, sorry, home, mother away from home. Because uh, as uh, our worshipful mayor was saying, she never criticized anybody. She understood everybody. So that's the main point when you talk about Sister Geralda. And uh, to the physics students, she was a bright, brilliant teacher who could ignite your, say, inquiring minds. She could ignite your, say, inquisitiveness. She could supply knowledge to you. So she was a brilliant teacher. And she could judge each student whether she is a weak student, she would give support. If she's an outstanding student, she would give her more and more chances to come up. So that was Sister Geralda as a teacher. And then she became a principal of the college. And then she was the able administrator who was at the same time tough and soft. Though she was in the convent, she understood the problems of the common people who came from different homes. So she was ready to render financial help to all the people who were in need. She could understand the problems that faced, that were faced by the common people. That I find is very special in her because from whatever background the person might be, she was able to understand that person. And uh, the non-teaching staff found her as a pillar of support. And uh, she was uh, very adventurous in the trips that she organized because she was very sure that people should see places. So she used to take the non-teaching staff on picnics and tours. So even to Delhi, she took them because she said, travel will enlighten you and uh, say widen your horizon. So she understood the need for travel. That's why I said she was an adventurous person also. In those days, without internet and mobile phones, she was able to arrange all these trips. And uh, finally, when she retired from college, she became a nursery teacher. There also, she was very happy with the students because she was a person who could be in equilibrium with whoever was surrounded by her. So she was a beautiful, I mean, she could sing beautifully. So she sang and uh, played with the nursery students and was very happy and cheerful to the end. Because even on the day she was, uh, say, she was not well, she used to tell us, oh, I am okay. You, can, you could see the pictures when we went to visit her. In spite of all her ailments, she said, New type, I miss. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, even on the day of her uh, death, she was joking with the superiors who had come to visit her. And uh, as her wish, she had a very peaceful death. She left us cheerfully as we could see her on that day 
she was sleeping peacefully and we couldn't believe that sister won't be here for our next meeting so with all say love and prayers to sister geralda i now go on to remember ms jm who also left us malayalam department le valare pragalpaya ir adhyavike irunu ms jm മിസ് നയൻറ്റീൻ സെവൻറ്റി സിക്സ് തൊട്ട് രണ്ടായിരത്തി അഞ്ച് വരെ പ്രൊവിഡൻസിലുണ്ടായിരുന്നു പ്രശസ്തനായ സാഹിത്യകാരൻ കെ എൻ എഴുത്തച്ഛൻ്റെ മകളായിട്ടാണ് മിസ്സിനെ അറിയപ്പെടുന്നത് ആദ്യം പിന്നെ മിസ്സ് സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് അവനവൻ്റെ പഠിപ്പിക്കൽ കാരണം ആഴത്തിലുള്ള അറിവ് കാരണം സ്വയം ഒരു അധ്യാപിക എന്ന നിലയിൽ വളരെ പ്രഗത്ഭയായ ഒരു അധ്യാപിക എന്ന നിലയിൽ സ്വന്തമായിട്ടൊരു പേര് നേടിയെടുത്തു നമ്മുടെ കോളേജിൽ മലയാളം സാഹിത്യം ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടു പോയ പലരും മിസ്സിൻ്റെ ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസിലാണ് സാഹിത്യത്തിലേക്ക് തിരിഞ്ഞത് മിസ്സ് ഏത് സബ്ജക്റ്റ് പഠിപ്പിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിലും ഏത് കവിത എന്ത് കഥ പഠിപ്പിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിലും ആഴത്തിൽ അതിനെപ്പറ്റി പഠിച്ചിട്ട് മാത്രമേ പഠിപ്പിക്കുകയായിരുന്നുള്ളൂ മിസ് ജെ എമ്മിൻ്റെ വീട് എൻ്റെ തൊട്ട വീടാണ് എനിക്ക് അങ്ങോട്ട് നോക്കുമ്പോഴൊക്കെ ഒരു ശൂന്യതയാണ് കാരണം മിസ് എന്നും തൊടിയിൽ നടക്കുകയായിരുന്നു ആ റിട്ടയർമെന്റിന് ശേഷം മിസ്സ് പ്രകൃതിയുമായിട്ട് അത്ര ഇണങ്ങിയിട്ട് നിറച്ചും എന്താണ് ചക്ക മാങ്ങ കോവയ്ക്ക അങ്ങനെ ഇവിടെ ജല്ലിക്കൂടെ നോക്കിയാൽ കാണുന്നത് മിസ് ജയത്തിന്റെ വീടാണ് എനിക്കൊരു വല്ലാത്തൊരു ഫീലിംഗ് ആണ് കാരണം രാത്രിയിൽ ഇതായിട്ടില്ല പക്ഷെ ധാരാളം കിളികളും നിറച്ചും പക്ഷികളും ഒക്കെ വന്നിരിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് മിസ്സിന്റെ വീട്ടിൽ അപ്പൊ എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നത് അത് മിസ്സിന് സന്തോഷം കൊടുക്കുന്നുണ്ടാവുമായിരിക്കും ഏതായാലും നമ്മളെ വിട്ടുപോയ ഈ രണ്ട് വ്യക്തികൾക്ക് മുമ്പിൽ എല്ലാവിധ പ്രണാമങ്ങളും അർപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നിർത്തുന്നു നന്ദി താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് മിനി മാം ഫോർ ഷെയറിംഗ് ദ മെമ്മറീസ് ഓഫ് സിസ്റ്റർ ജലാൽദ ആൻഡ് മിസ് ജയം നൗ ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു റിക്വസ്റ്റ് എനി വൺ ഫ്രം ദി അലമിനി ഹു വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു ഷെയർ ദി എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഇൻ ആ ക്യാമ്പസ് I would like to call up uh, Dr. Leela. I think she would like to say something about our campus, about the teachers, about the memories that she have in our college. Uh, a warm Republic Day greetings to all of you. Actually, Dr. Mini Balajnan has left me thinking of i don't know uh, miss jm was also dear to my mother and myself and uh, sister geralda of course uh, uh, <laughs> all my thoughts have <laughs> become blocked after listening to uh, miss mini balishan actually i'm sorry ma'am i'm sorry no 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 no, no. yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry for that let me congratulate dr beena for all uh, for her achievement in every way uh, uh, and we are all so proud of you proud as a providona i am proud of uh, pr- proud to be part of uh, this um, great achievement and uh, of course the energetic uh, sister geralda as dr mini miss mini was saying uh i was so happy to listen to sister sheba's uh, energetic new gen song which uh, <laughs> which is which i felt uh, even the teachers and uh, uh, sisters our own uh, uh, sisters they they are following the paths of sister geralda sister geralda of course i used to see her every year it was a privilege uh for me to um, actually i am speaking here in my, the fond memories of the college which my mother felt is her second home or first home i should say i don't know whether she felt that was the first home that she used to always say Provid- providence will provide <laughs> so in those days those days were hard days to meet um, t- trying to meet ends is was not so easy and my mother especially she had to 
manage as a single breadwinner. Uh, I lost my father quite early. So she she thought her all support was from Providence, the teachers, sisters, I must say, all of uh, all the uh, um, as a teacher of Providence, she has felt all that um, uh, the that uh, blessings from the college. So uh, my memories, of course, I did my pre degree there. Uh, you know, uh, those were the days where you are very carefree. And talking about Sister, uh, Sister Geralda was the principal then and our physics teacher too. And I must, I don't know whether Ms. Kamalachi is here. I can't see all of you. Uh, Ms. Kamalachi was, uh, as also uh, Ms. Shailaja said, they all joined just when we got into the college. So they were all very fresh. Uh, Ms. Kamalachi was also very inspiring. And Ms. Geralda has, Sister Geralda has taken classes. And that was the year when when the management colleges were uh, became aided colleges and i for myself had to sit at home for whole five to six months because i had not applied for a seat anywhere else other than providence college <laughs> and there was a very i don't know how many of you would remember that the college was uh, on strike or it was shut down for a very long time so uh, I joined college after a break of four, five, six, five months actually after my SSLC. And my father also was very closely associated with all the sisters, then Sister Geralda and uh, Sister Gabriel, Mother Gabriel, the uh, who was very enthusiastic. And he used to, he was a very fond, uh, he uh, uh, fond of physics. Actually, uh, I just want to say that I am proud of achieving the 100% marks in physics for the first time in Calicut University at that time. Because, of course, my five months were spent not on TV or uh, computer or anything. My father used to teach me physics. So uh, if I had not gone for medicine, I would have chosen physics as my subject. So this is in memory of uh, Sister Geralda also. I am talking about physics. And uh, the fond memories, even now when I visit college, I go to uh, the church, which which definitely gives us a straight, um, definitely a strong feeling that it is always there to support us. And proudly, Sister Ashmeda used to say that the show me the new building of a library coming up during the COVID times when everything else was quiet, uh, nothing else was progressing. But this is coming up and uh, I, I'm sure it will come up in a big way as the knowledge hub, as Sister has already pointed out. And I'm looking forward to having a... Uh, uh, definitely seeing a great uh, hub, not only in Calicut, Kerala, as a uh, national hub of knowledge and uh, the freedom given for women definitely is shown by the achievements by none other than our worshipful mayor. So let me thank everyone. Nothing is complete without mentioning and without appreciating Bindu, Dr. Bindu, uh, for taking this up, the alumni, uh, to her heart and uh, keeping this going on each year and seeing great achievements and a uh, uh, um, lot of uh, alumni are also joining and taking up the responsibilities. Uh, um, Thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for taking us through the wonderful memories. Now, I think, Shakriti, we must request the alumni members, you know, the probably doctors uh, who yes. have joined us to switch on their cameras. And then, you know, we need one precious photograph with all the mothers and daughters. 
that's that should be for keeps so may I request all the alumni daughters to kindly switch on the cameras Yes. Yeah, I can see Sri Devi. Yeah, Dr. Laila. Then yeah, Dr. Dr. Laila, of course. Um, Sushi, Divya Sridharan, Meryl Mohan. Then we have uh, Ms. Sharon, Sri Devi, Shaina. Um, and Divya was there. Yes. Divya, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Vatsala is here. Yes. Oh, Dr. Vatsala, good to have you here. <laughs> Great. <laughs> After a long time. Yes, yes. Are you in Thank Bangalore? You. Wonderful no. seeing you. COVID took me to London and I'm here. London, oh, completely okay. wonderful. Two years without visa. Mm. We'll tell the police. <laughs> no, police, police, I have become friendly with. <laughs> okay. No, I am simply joking. I have been trying. Nothing was happening. Something or the other was coming in the way. Uh, hope to be back at least. For March, February, March, April. Uh, I feel stuck. They have taken off all restrictions now, I guess, right? In UK? Uh, no, UK, the... See, infection is more. Anyways, so, children are going to school. Now, I guess. No, no. I can. I can. But many other yeah. things keep cropping up. Being a mother, you are under everybody's thumb. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's for Very women's true. liberation and uh, empowerment. <laughs> the mother's liberation is different. It doesn't include being yeah. liberation. <laughs> <laughs> as a woman, I'm liberated, not as a mother. <laughs> okay. What about the young generation has to say? What is the... Sri Devi, yeah, yeah, the young mother. Divya Sri Devi. <laughs> the ball is in your court. I'm supposed to say something about the college or as a young mother? <laughs> I am confused. You can say whatever you like. Whatever I think as far as your mother doesn't yeah, get angry. For us. <laughs> I think that is okay. No, like that is like what Slanti said, under the thumb. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, sweet baby. Hey, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> She's my son's classmate too. Yes, we are good friends. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so about the college, I'm good to see Valsla and I'm, I remember making wine in chemistry class. That has oh. stayed with me forever. With full confidence, I tell people how to make grape wine. <laughs> and I think I learned it in my chemistry lab. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think it was, uh, yeah, so there are a uh, few memories of Providence College with a very, very... Which is very, very, I'm going to say, if you don't know a book, 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 maybe, Anna, it was like, oh, we know how to make wine, but the whole fact of how it was taught, the whole fermenting process, and Anna, the learning was exciting to do. But she was not an appealing activity in the college, because she was a constant diet complaint. Kamalashi auntie especially has very strong <laughs> times in a Palarashim class. I have told this is not what mothers should do to their children. Put them in different colleges. Don't put them in the same space. <laughs> uh, so, Pinne Amma also, I have walked one day into one classroom to call one uh, senior out. I have to call one senior out. Who Pramita? I am not Pramita. I know your name. I know you are not Pramita. I know your name. I know you are not Pramita. I know your name. I know your name. I know your name. I know your You are supposed to say, Miss, may I get Pramita out of the class? I know your name. Miss, may I get Pramita out of the class? I know your name. I know your name. I can hear. This first PDC should be taught manners. They don't know manners. 
ഞാൻ വീട്ടിൽ വന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു വീട്ടിൽ പഠിപ്പിച്ച മാനോസ് അല്ലേ കാണിക്കാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ വേറെ മാനോസ് ഒന്നും കാണിക്കാൻ പറ്റൂലല്ലോ അങ്ങനെ സോയാ ബട്ട് ദ ഗുഡ് പാർട്ട് വാസ് ഐ വുഡ് ഗെറ്റ് ഫ്രഷ് ടിഫിൻ ബോക്സ് അമ്മ കൊണ്ടിരുന്നോണ്ട് ലഞ്ച് ബോക്സ് വാസ് ഓൾവേസ് ഫ്രഷ് വിച്ച് മോസ്റ്റ്ലി ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഏറ്റ് കാരണം കോൾ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റ് പോയിട്ട് ഞാൻ രാവിലെ വീട്ടിൽ നിന്ന് നേരത്തെ ഇറങ്ങിയിട്ട് ഉച്ചയ്ക്ക് അമ്മയുടെ അടുത്ത് നിന്ന് പോയി ടിഫിൻ ബോക്സ് എടുക്കും ഐ തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ദ ബിഗ്ഗസ്റ്റ് ഹൈലൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഹാവിങ് യുവർ മദർ ഇൻ ദ ക്യാമ്പ് ഫ്രഷ് ഫുഡ് ഇൻ ദ ബോക്സ് Uh, and uh, initially it was very difficult many people were aunties and then you didn't know how to put mams in the end uh, mm-hmm. me, mini aunty luckily wasn't there at that point na yan kudingene prabha aunty was miss prabha bindu aunty was miss bindu so it, it it is not very easy but to change that nomenclature and you constantly feel you are watched ayyo avarku ariyam ayyo ivarku ariyam but yeah but uh, providence college is great in the sense the kind of cultural activities i could participate in mm, i mean there there were times when i thought there is something great about being a only girls space uh, some kind of uh, you know something was nice initially uh, initially maybe we did want boys would have been nice no toni but looking back i think that two years without boys we were some another unleashed group of women who would do anything and everything uh so cultural programs and all i mean it was it, it was just exciting how we were very strong as a group even if we were taken to other campuses to protect each other be there for each other some kind of uh, something that you learn uh, being a group like that pinna angane angane yeah so providence that way yes as uh, been a lot of fun i i would say learning i was there for just two years and that pre degree two years is very focused no engineering ne bono medicine ne bono vera nengilum bono So education was more of that but i think the fun part in providence was something else this uh, yeah palamburi and lime juice in the canteen uh, masala dosa that bonda bajji one bonda masala vada was there that was also i mean those are things which we still talk about the stone bench how sister suman has run behind us with one koda saying we should have been in class and not outside on the stone bench so sister suman children or ninga koda ganikum we would just run i mean like those kind of thing uh, yeah and then one samma locked us inside one classroom because we were talking too much and then i had my friends roll my eyes ninda manda ingena and i'm like yeah yeah this is how it is <laughs> but yeah so like that it was a lot of yeah complex memories but nice uh, and also today i usually don't join any of these things amma palum varai alumni meeting und join you join you njan ingena angona kochundakum but this is bindu aunty thanks to you uh, for sending the reminder for sending the invite i think sometimes it um, you know you remember it much more when you know somebody else uh, makes it feel more important to you matthu ingana amma varai i just push it aside it is one of those usual thing nee enna vilichilla nee message aitilla nee alumni meeting ni veru okko ore stone la njan kekka so i'm like no 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 i think he has somebody else to talk <laughs> <laughs> okay bye <laughs> <laughs> well blood runs definitely quicker than water <laughs> that's evident in the streak of humor <laughs> that's handed down to the next generation <laughs> thank you thank you yes Those yes somebody you joined it late i hope you recognize that to sri devi ms lalita's daughter <laughs> who spoke till now yeah i can relate all these things when my, i used to think i shouldn't have been here <laughs> <laughs> thank you sri devi uh, anyone else uh, divya shaina <laughs> uh, hello everyone actually what sri devi said summed up i think the experience of most of the daughters <laughs> whose mothers worked there uh, also the same thing the confusion about whether to address your you know all the teachers you grew up with because my mother has been working there I think from the time I was really small so I, I literally grew up coming there and meeting all the teachers who I would call auntie and then to spend 5 years there calling everyone miss so yes that was really a a very different experience but also what remains with me is the fact that we had my batch uh, we were the 97 batch and we had so much fun I, w- I did science in my pre degree so like sri devi said it was part of you know that engineering medicine madness uh, of course all of us wrote the entrance exams and many of us didn't write it very seriously so and then we took other subjects like i graduated in english 
and basically we had a great time uh what i really remember is the the youth festivals the cultural activities and when i tell my husband that i participated in debates and drama and some music and we would go to uh, youth festivals the inter university youth festival also and very proudly say we are from providence because everybody else would boo us especially the other colleges you know they would pick on us because we were the one of the better girls colleges there and they would definitely uh, boo at us and make fun of us and we'd all group together and stand together it was a wonderful experience and something that i still remember because i think it's an opportunity that not many of us get and the college gave us that and i think many of us have gone on to do different things mainly because of this foundation that you know girls can do whatever they want to as well and not be limited by your gender i think that is something that providence has really given us and that's something i cherish very very much so thank you dear teachers i think it is because of how you've taught us that we are like this today and uh, and it is such a matter of pride to hear our mayor talk about her experiences and truly uh, i felt so happy when my mother said dr bina was the mayor and how she is from providence i was like whoa that's amazing so i think it's truly because of the grounding and the foundation we have and in those really crucial years that we've become you know to not be limited in any way and thank you so much for that and thank you also for organizing this miss bindu because i honestly would not have joined and it's purely because you have sent us so many reminders and i think that's truly incredible so thank you so much and for giving us this opportunity also and it was really a wonderful time നീലു നിമ്മു ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ടോ നീലു നിമ്മു ഇല്ല നീലു നിമ്മുന് വേണ്ടി വേണേ ഞാൻ പറയാം അല്ല ഓൺ ബിഹാഫ് ഓഫ് ബിഹാഫ് ഓഫ് നീലു ആൻഡ് നിമ്മു ഇത് ശരിക്ക് ആക്ച്വലി എനിക്ക് വല്ലാത്ത സങ്കടമായി റിയലി മിസ്സിംഗ് ദം അപ്പൊ എനിക്ക് ശ്രീദേവിയും ദിവ്യൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞു കേൾക്കുമ്പോൾ ഞാൻ കേട്ട ലളിതയുടെ അതേ അനുഭവം എനിക്ക് തോന്നി വീട്ടിൽ വന്ന് കേൾക്കാറുള്ള കംപ്ലൈന്റ്സ് ആണ് ഞാൻ കേൾക്കാറുള്ള അമ്മയുള്ള കോളേജിൽ പഠിച്ചോടുള്ള ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടെന്ന് പക്ഷെ അതൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞാലും ബോത്ത് ഓഫ് ദ അവര് എന്നും പറയും പ്രൊവിഡൻസിനോടുള്ള അവരെ ഇഷ്ടം ഇതും ആക്ച്വലി ഇന്ന് ദിവ്യ പറഞ്ഞപ്പോഴാണ് എനിക്ക് ഓർമ്മ വന്നത് ഞങ്ങൾക്കും പ്രശ്നം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ദിവ്യ എന്നൊക്കെ വിളിക്കാൻ ദിങ്കു ബബ്ബിൾ എന്നൊക്കെയാണ് നിങ്ങളെ മനസ്സിൽ വരാറുള്ളത് കാരണം ഈ കുട്ടികളെ മുഴുവൻ കുട്ടിക്കാലം തൊട്ട് ലൈലി ആയിരിക്കാം ഇന്നത്തെ സീനിയർ മോസ്റ്റ് ഗ്രാൻഡ് സെക്കൻഡ് ജനറേഷൻ ഹാലിമിനെ വന്നത് ഞാൻ ലൈലി പാസ് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്ത കൊല്ല അപ്പോഴാണ് ആ ഇയറിൽ ഞാൻ ജോയിൻ ചെയ്തത് അതിനു മുമ്പ് ഞാനും ആലമ്മ ആയത് കാരണം മിസ് അരവിന്റെ കൂടെ ലൈല കുട്ടി കുട്ടി ലൈല വരുന്നത് കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് അത് കാരണം ഇവരൊക്കെ കുട്ടിക്കാലം തൊട്ടേ അറിയുന്ന കാരണം നമ്മുടെ മക്കളെ പോലെ തന്നെയാണ് തോന്നിയത് എനിക്ക് ഇന്നത്തെ മീറ്റിംഗിന്റെ ഒരു പ്രത്യേകതയും അത് തന്നെയാണ് തോന്നിയത് ഒരു സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഗസ്റ്റിന്റെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് പിന്നെ പറ്റുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഇടയ്ക്കൊന്ന് വരാന്ന് ബിദ്ദിനോട് പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഐ തിങ്ക് അതായിരിക്കാം ആക്ച്വലി എനിക്കിപ്പൊ ഈ മീറ്റിങ്ങിൽ വന്നപ്പോ എനിക്ക് ഞാൻ അലമ്മ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഞാനാണോ അതോ ടീച്ചറായിരുന്നപ്പോൾ എന്റെ സ്റ്റുഡൻസിനെ കാണുമ്പോൾ ഞാനാണ് ഏതിനാ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് കൊടുക്കേണ്ടത് തോന്നിപ്പോയി ബീന പറഞ്ഞപ്പോഴും മിനി പറഞ്ഞപ്പോഴും ഒക്കെ എന്റെ മനസ്സ് പോയത് പി ഡിഗ്രിക്ക് സിസ്റ്റർ ജെറാൾഡയുടെ ഫിസിക്സ് ക്ലാസ് ആണ് സിസ്റ്റർ പഠിപ്പിച്ച മാഗ്നറ്റിസം മാത്രമേ എനിക്ക് ഫിസിക്സിൽ ഇപ്പോഴും ഓർമ്മയുള്ളൂ പിന്നെ സിസ്റ്ററുടെ കൂടെ ആണ് ഞാൻ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു എന്റെ ഒരു അന്ന് ഞാൻ ജോയിൻ ചെയ്തതിന് അടുത്ത് ഒരു ഫൈൻ ആർട്സ് നമ്മളെ സ്റ്റാഫ് സ്റ്റുഡന്റ് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റർ ആയിട്ട് ആദ്യമായി വർക്ക് സിസ്റ്ററുടെ കൂടെ കുറച്ച് സീനിയേഴ്സ് ഒക്കെ ആയിട്ട് മിസ് ഭാരതി കഴിഞ്ഞ ശേഷം ഞാൻ വർക്ക് ചെയ്ത സിസ്റ്ററുടെ കൂടെ അന്ന് കിട്ടിയ കുറെ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ആക്ച്വലി കാൺട്ട് ഫർഗറ്റ് സിസ്റ്ററുടെ അപ്പൊ മിനി പറഞ്ഞത് ലൈല പറഞ്ഞത് മാതിരി മീറ്റിംഗിലെ ആ സിസ്റ്ററുടെയും ജയത്തിന്റെയും ടോപ്പിക്സ് വന്നതോടുകൂടി ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും ലൈഫിനെ പറ്റി കൂടുതൽ ദിസ് ഈസ് വോട്ട് ഇസ് ലൈഫ് എന്നുള്ളത് ഒരു മോർണിംഗും കൂടെ കിട്ടിയ മാതിരിയാണ് ബട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ പ്രോവിഡൻസിന്റെ മെമ്മറീസ് ആസ് എൻ അലംന ആൻഡ് ഓൾസ് ആസ് എ ടീച്ചർ എന്റെ കുട്ടികളെ കാണുമ്പോ എനിക്ക് എന്റെ മക്കളെ പോലെ തന്നെയാണ് ഉള്ളത് ഇവരൊക്കെ അതുകൊണ്ട് മീറ്റിംഗ് ഇസ് വെരി പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഫോർ മീ സോ ഓൺ ബിഹാഫ് ഓഫ് നീലു ആൻഡ് നിമ
ഞാൻ എന്റെ അവരുടെ കൂടി തോട്ട്സ് പറയാതെ ദേ ടു ഹാവ് ദ സെയിം നീലൂരൊക്കെ ആ രണ്ടു കൊല്ലാണ് എല്ലാ സ്റ്റേജിൽ കയറാനുള്ള ഒരവസരം വിടാതെ ഇരുന്ന് നീലൂരുടെ കേസിൽ അങ്ങനെ നിമൂന്റെ കേസിൽ ആയാൽ എനിക്കൊരു സ്പെഷ്യൽ ദ കോമേഴ്സ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റിനോട് പറയാണ്ട് ഷി വാസ് വെരി ഷൈ സെന്റ് ജോസ് പഠിക്കുമ്പോൾ തിമിറ്റ് ആയിരുന്നു റോസി പേടി കൊണ്ടാണെന്നാണ് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നത് നിമു ചേഞ്ച് എ ലോട്ട് വൺസ് ഷി കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ഹെ ബി കോം ദേവഗിരി പോയപ്പോ ഇപ്പോഴും പിന്നെ ഫർദർ ഇതിലും യു കെയിൽ പോയിട്ട് അവളെ ആ ഇന്റർവ്യൂവിനെ അറ്റൻഡ് ചെയ്തപ്പോ ഒക്കെ അവള് എനിക്ക് എന്ന് തോന്നുന്നു റോസിയാണ് അവിടെ മോൾഡ് ചെയ്തത് ശരിക്കും ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫാക്കൽറ്റി മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ കൊമേഴ്സ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റ് പക്ഷെ അവർക്ക് ബാക്കി എല്ലാവർക്കും റോസിയെ കുറിച്ച് പേടി ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതുകാരണം നോ പറയാൻ പേടിയില്ല പറയാൻ പേടിയാണ് റോസിയോട് എന്തെങ്കിലും പറയുമ്പോ അതുകൊണ്ടും കൂടി ആയിരിക്കാം അവള് വളരെയധികം ചേഞ്ച് ചെയ്തിരുന്നു ശരിക്കും അവര് എന്റെ രണ്ട് കുട്ടികളെയും മോൾഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിൽ പ്രോവിഡൻസും നിമോനെ മിനിക്കറിയാം അവള് മിനി അവളുടെ ഒരു ഫേവറേറ്റ് ഇതായിരുന്നു മിനിയുടെ പല കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഇപ്പോഴും പറയുമ്പോഴും ചിലർക്ക് മിനിയുടെ ഇതാണ് അവർക്ക് കിട്ടി അവർക്ക് ഉണ്ട് അവർക്ക് കോമൺ ആയിട്ട് ഇവർക്ക് ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടെന്ന് മിനിയും പറയാറുണ്ട് നീലും പറയാറുണ്ട് രണ്ട് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ചാടി കയറണതാണല്ലോ വാല്യൂ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ക്ലാസ് മിനി ചോദിച്ചു ക്ലാസ്സിൽ ആരെങ്കിലും ഉണ്ടോ സ്റ്റേ കേസ് കയറുമ്പോ രണ്ട് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് കയറി നീല് പതുക്കെ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ഞാൻ അങ്ങനെ മിസ് കയറുന്നു മിനി പറയാറുണ്ടത് എന്നോട് കുറെ നല്ല മെമ്മറീസ് തന്നെയാണ് ഇപ്പൊ എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് പാട്ടുകാർക്ക് ഇപ്പൊ ഓർമ്മിക്കാനുള്ള ഈ പഴയ മെമ്മറീസ് ആണ് അബൌട്ട് പഴയ സ്റ്റുഡന്റ് ലൈഫും ടീച്ചർ ലൈഫും ഒക്കെ പിന്നെ കാണാൻ പറ്റിയിട്ടില്ല സോ എനിവേ ലാസ്റ്റ് മീറ്റിംഗില് വി ആർ എ ഫെയിൻ ഹോപ്പ് ഈ വർഷം മീറ്റിംഗ് റിയൽ നമുക്ക് മീറ്റിംഗ് കാണാൻ പറ്റുമെന്ന് ബട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ നമുക്ക് വി ഷുഡ് ബി താങ്ക് ഫു ടു ടെക്നോളജി ഇത്രയെങ്കിലും ഒക്കെ എങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ കാണാനും അതിനുള്ള ഇതുണ്ടായല്ലോ പിന്നെ പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ബിന്ദുവിനോട് ഒരു സ്പെഷ്യൽ കൺഗ്രാറ്റ്സ് പറയാതെ നിർത്തിയില്ല എസ്പെഷ്യലി ബിന്ദു ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദ ടീം ഫോർ ഓർഗനൈസിംഗ് ദിസ് ഇൻ എ വണ്ടർഫുൾ വേ താങ്ക് യു ഓൾ വത്സല വെരി ഹാപ്പി ടു സി യു Thank you, Ms. Shaila. And Nimmu, Namita, Ravindran, she also sent a message. In fact, that's why I came. Uh-huh. Providence will always hold a special place in my heart. Five years was a very long time to make some very special memories with many wonderful people. It was especially special because of the positive and hopeful atmosphere that each one of the teachers created for the <laughs> students. Uh, I think she's uh, worded it so well. So thank you, Nimmu. And uh, thank you, Ms. Shaila. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, Shaina, Shaina, would you like to say something? Yeah. Ms. Rosakuti's daughter, Shaina. Unmute. ശ്രീദേവിട്ട് <laughs> and i wouldn't consider myself the ideal student of a of a teacher maybe uh, because uh, that was a time when you get into pre degree you find what freedom is and uh, with uh, sister geralda as a principal it was total heaven <laughs> you get into all sorts of um, mischief whether it is bunking class or madhuri adalo everything you do whatever you want at that particular age and the evening you the report reaches your mother so one one fortunate thing i had is i had one of the coolest moms that you can ever get so <laughs> that's so <laughs> that's really low don't get so obvious at least don't reflect it on your marks and that was the only advice she used to give me you can enjoy as much as you want but uh, please do have a balance between your mischief as well as your academics so uh anyway the two years especially the pre degree was total heaven for us and i have beautiful memories and i um, i'm grateful for all the uh, help as well as the um, guidance that uh, the teachers have given me and uh, thank you thank you providence all our beautiful memories uh, are basically what we had in providence thank you thank you so much 
Miss Catherine, the Magala Divya, I saw her somewhere. Sherry Nunde, Sherry. Yeah, Divya, ah, Miss Reeted. Ah. Divya or Kornikel, Miss Reeted, Sherry Nunde. Hello. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Any <laughs> from the very childhood, we have been associating with this institution. Providence College had a younger relationship ever since we were born. Mummy out the alumni than Yana. Abam Kunjala Dotana, Namlavata Alkare, Kelkun under Kanan under. So it is just like a second home for all of us. When Enda Garam Paranagi, teacher daughters Paranola, or a space, Amma Molamanda Inanola consequences, or a cherry readily and school, but I came without the experience Idana Karnam, physics led Jenny and did a Mola Dani and Yanum classmates. Upon Yana. School and again the Corpanga Kutivai to Mummy College very a year. Up any college on the day, if I am creating some problem, teachers report that it was not something new, new experience for me because that episodes continued. That's all. When I talk about when I remember our third BCom class, the wall is shared with both the commerce and economics department. Third year BCom class in the wall. Upper the side, low, one side of commerce, one side economics one. Now, and the commerce teachers are side and the other side, one made a department under. When you would order three share and share and look at the Bahana Vigibo, Rosa and the Kacha, the Mamud or Ekanda, share and even a kinna. Mother was not a threat for me, she always gave me the full freedom. And I must say that more than my school, uh, Providence has played a very pivotal role in framing me up. Uh, it has improved my self esteem improved my confidence, my um, confidence in teaching actually, because my interest in teaching actually grew after I joined uh, Providence College. When I used to work with my mother in railway station or to a bank or to some places, you see students coming up. Hello, Miss, how are you? I was very attracted to my parents. I was very recognized that my old students meet me. So that was like the biggest highlight for me to, uh, to develop an interest in the profession of teaching. I'm very happy that by the grace of God, today I am working as a teacher in a women's college itself. I know I cannot be placed in any other college because I am totally tuned and framed for as a, the fabric of a women's college only because I did my pre-degree, my degree and my PG in a women's college. So today I have I am working in a women's college itself. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> and um, uh, the experience that I've got from Providence College cannot be uh, forgotten, will not will always be remembered in my life. Pinna and the Maria number students and number Kudola classmates, okay, or a cherry or a distance number to Ekin Karnum, number Amma College, the same college, the work came up. Paksha, they some in the Navra the advantage of Kum Karnum, even Amma, Mammy or a test a class of Parana, but which it on the Mammy, a pre degree, Providence College, the class of test a Parnaina. Ended the pillar of Arnavidum. Amid the request, the other matan request in the Anna Vigit, Yam, full time Amid or Yergum, we test the matter, test the matter. Yam, particular, Waki Pillar, a Kupadigu. Mammy on the Kakula the next day, she will conduct the test. Pina Papa Kundam, Mamiki Vara, Ernu Karnum, a weekly answer paper, one down the Nya, Papa or Yaukit through the market to the company. Mammy other than the Kakula, she was very professional. She never used to, uh, you know, consider me in that way. But I think I've learned a lot uh, when I'm imparting the same to my students, never to be partial, always to treat the students very lovingly. And I have had this experience. I've learned all this from all of you teachers and uh, my mother, of course. I'm very happy to be back in this platform with all of you. I will always, uh, uh, always be thankful to each one of you, especially so many teachers in the commerce department. Lelithamis and a participant of Bindu Miss Bindu Miss Napoleaka, Nala debulated dressy that the college of Pon on the Kenyan Pirum Alekar and the Swamikar and the but I don't know. 
<laughs> never been like that i i think but still a, a big thank you to all of you bindu was an or vaadu contact the and the request special invite to kai so i'm feeling so so happy so beloved so loved thank you i'm honored actually thank you very much thank you and sharon we are proud of you as well she's the coordinator of the iqac in her college you know at such a young I, I was, age i was i was uh, no ma'am i was but now i have moved okay. <laughs> yeah i think it's all close to 2 hours now um, shashwati so maybe we should catherine ne kaanan santosh ms catherine <laughs> Yeah, Miss Catherine is here. Miss Catherine's daughter Divya was also here. But she, I think, told me Sariam Randamani had had car I am. Our day, ah, she is left now. So no, no, Divya Jo send I will do it. Yes, ma'am. Shall I continue? Yeah, I think. Uh... Okay. Thank you so much, Adya Alamis. We have a very energetic alumni group. Uh, we enjoyed listening to you all. um every alumni meet is a platform where we cherish the memories of our campus the canteen the auditorium the stone bench the cultural programs the sports day your classes teachers friends etc so i request sister tilsi to share a small video showcasing the beauty of providence women's college Providence Women's College is a visionary project of the Sisters of Apostolic Carmel Congregation inspired by the foundress mother Veronica. When the college opened up new vistas of knowledge for women with its establishment in 1952, it was a momentous event in the educational history of North Kerala. The first ever arts and science college for women in Malabar continues its journey of 70 years towards the noble mission of women empowerment through value based education. True to its motto, in thy light we see light. The institution edifies young minds by providing the perfect ambience for academic excellence and opportunities for learning through service. The college offers instruction in 6 postgraduate courses and 14 undergraduate courses with the addition of an integrated course in international relations along with A+ grade awarded by the NAC the college was also granted the status of CPE college with potential for excellence by the UGC in 2017 In the pursuit of excellence there have been creditable achievements like research centers in the departments of physics english and botany dst fist women resource center ugc community college and village facilitation center this institution has very rich human and material resource potential it upholds tractability in effective curriculum activities variety in teaching learning methods high caliber of work in research action oriented plans for value based education periodic feedback and evaluation procedures eminent faculty the vibrant students the enlightened leadership and the provision for manifestation of talents of the students constitute the fabric of providence women's college our well qualified committed and dedicated faculty members channelize their scholarly expertise into the best of innovative methods and technology in their teaching practices 
One of the outstanding practices of this institution is the mentor ward system that enables building a strong bond of love, care and concern between the teacher and the student. The campus also emphasizes capacity building in each student to equip them to learn and earn. The path-breaking initiatives of the NSS units makes the student self-reliant, enhance their leadership skills and gain knowledge about different people from different walks of life. The college provides training in NCC and the smart and capable cadets are entitled to selection for various camps like annual training camps, the signing camp and Republic Day camp. Perceiving the signs of the times, we have started a new course, Human Resource Management, where students get ample options of employment along with the acquisition of knowledge and principles that are required to handle the human resources of organizations and further equip them to face the challenges of life. It goes without saying that no institution committed to the cost of higher education can rest contented on its laurels. Our ongoing project, the new library complex, aims at developing a comprehensive collection of materials in the various streams of knowledge, aiding vital support to teaching and research in the college. in the founding values, Providence Women's College carries its mission forward with poise, veracity and sanctity intact as a haven to the seeking mind, a sanctum to the studious and a refuge from the tumultuous din of a demanding world. We welcome you to be part of this journey and strengthen our vision. Thank you, Sister Pilsen. Now I request Dr. Vidya Keti, Faculty of Economics Department, to propose the vote of thanks. Uh -uh. Hello, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Uh, today, we had a beautiful evening. Providence had always been an integral part of us and will continue to do so in the years to come. And what a beautiful evening it was. Today, we have spent this whole afternoon uh, reviving our old memories, honoring our uh, beloved uh, mayor of Calicut District, Dr. Lena Phillip. And uh, we have, uh, we have uh, shared our experiences, shared our journeys together. Uh, we have uh, shared our stories and uh, our journeys of uh, the daughters of Providonas. And uh, we had a beautiful day 
we promise to leave uh, sorry uh, we are bidding goodbye until we meet again before we part ways let me express my sincere gratitude to few of our proidona members without whom this reunion would not be would not have been possible so among them the first is our beloved principal dr sister ashmita who was not present today today with us but uh, we deeply express our gratitude towards our principal uh, let me also extend my sincere gratitude to dr sister sheba head of the department of economics for uh, presiding over today's function and for the lovely music that she sang for us thank you sister um our uh, office bearers of the, our office bearers of the previous year um secretary ms dana ma charna meeting nivedya manoj hello yes a secretary ms nivedya treasurer sneharani the executive committee member uh, members and all my dear ഇത് ഒന്നും കൂടെ കാണിക്കോ അതോടൊക്കെ മുതൽ എക്സ്പ്രസ് മൈ ഗ്രാറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ടു മിസ് ബിന്ദു ഹൂ ഹാസ് ബീൻ ദ ബാക്ക് ബോൺ ഓഫ് അവർ പ്രൊവിഡോണ അവർ അലുമിനി അസോസിയേഷൻ സിൻസ് ഇസ് ഇൻസെപ്ഷൻ താങ്ക് യു മിസ് താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ഓൾ ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ഡൺ ഫോർ ഫോർ ദ ഫോർ ഓർഗനൈസിംഗ് ടുഡേസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ uh let me also thank joint secretary ms likshna uh secretary mary cheriya sorry sorry i'm getting call uh, let me also thank uh likshna or joint secretary uh and uh, uh the newly bearer office members shashwati for organizing this event let me thank each and everyone who are present here especially the daughters of providonas for sharing their stories uh, now i have to think again whether i have to admit my daughter to our college or not uh, it was a beautiful session oru vaadu chirichu oru vaadu chindichu and uh, with the promise that we will meet again in the coming years let me add you goodbye to each and every one of you especially the part members uh the daughters the teachers the past and present teachers and everyone who are present here thank you everyone thank you so much ms vidya uh, this year we will not have the election of our office bearers i request all the present office bearers to continue as the office bearers for this year 2021 2022 Uh, we have arranged a small cultural program for our dear alumnis i think you will enjoy it i request sister prithvi to play the viva <laughs> yeah i think uh, shashwati has got some of her students former comma students to present a dance program they will do that but uh, the, those of you who have waited here for 2 hours and more thank you so much thank you very much
Thank you, everyone. It's time to wind up the meet. It was nice meeting you all. As today is Republic Day, we will end the meet with the national anthem. I request Ms. Ragi to play the national anthem. Thank you everyone for joining the meet. Ms. Bindu? Yes, uh, Shashwati, I think we can wind up now with a big word of thanks to everyone who gathered here and who attended this meeting, stayed on for so long, again from different parts of the world. It, you know, it, feels us, it makes us feel so enriched to be part of this great institution and to belong to each other. I think on and that. Bindu, hats off to you. In spite of your, you know, indisposition, you've been able to carry this through these two hours. You need a lot of rest now, and uh, I think you've been persistent in your uh, follow-up. That is why we got all those girls to talk here. All those will run away. They don't come normally. Huh? So a, a huge credit goes to you for bringing them all in the same train. Okay, let's hope uh, Providona meets in great numbers in the years to come as well. Yeah. Definitely, Bindu, this is a very good start. A lot of thoughtful meeting. Really yeah. enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you to everyone from Dr. Laila to uh, dear Meryl. Thank uh, you to everyone. Uh, Laila to Meryl. It's a lot to have all of you here. Thank you. Bindu, take care and take us to yeah, talk. Thank you. I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to all the people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm... Positive. Uh, <laughs> very positive. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Bye. Of course.